Hello, we're going to do some new learning together today about writing instructions. Now for this activity, it will be really helpful for you if you've read your bug club book, Slip Snap Slop, which is all about keeping yourself safe in the sunshine. Now, I think we need to maybe take a look at a couple of pages of that book to help us to look at the type of language that they're using. So this is the start of the book, Slip Slap Slop, and you can see that it's not a storybook. It's not using story language with Yasmin going down to the beach and having a play with her dad and finding some crabs and splashing in the sea. Here you can see there's very clear steps. Number one, they're using quite bossy language and telling us what to do, giving us that command. Step number one, unzip the bag. Step number two, pop on a top, slip it on. They're not saying to us, oh, can you pop up to your bedroom, please? Very kindly and go and open the drawer and find your things that you will need and then come back downstairs and then we can start to pack all of your things. It's not using all of those words. It's very short and it's just giving us one or two words to tell us what we need to do to give us a clear instruction. Number one, unzip the bag. Number two, pop on a top. That's how we've got to show it in our writing too. The writing activity today is going to be to write instructions on how to keep ourselves safe in the sun. Mrs Dove made a lovely video the other day and gave us lots of tips. So you'll have Mrs Dove's sun safety advice and the advice that you've had from the book Slip Slap Slop. And then you can choose to put it into a booklet or just to write a little fact sheet or a poster. You can decide. The way I've chosen to present my instructions today is on a big sheet of paper that I folded into the three equal parts and then I'm going to create myself a booklet. Here is the sun safety leaflet I've made and I've decorated the front of my one with Mr Golden Sun. We're going to sing that song at the end of this video. Now I'm going to make a title first for my safety booklet but I'm going to call mine Keep Cool in the Sun. So I'm going to start by writing the word keep up at the top here and sound it out as I go. E, what can you see? K, E, P, keep cool. So I'm going to curl around my caterpillar. Ooh, poo at the zoo. Keep k, ooh. And then I'm going to write underneath in the sun. I, N, the. Keep cool. And then I'm going to write sun in big giant capital letters because that's part of my design. I'm going to write that underneath. Ah, mm. keep cool in the sun. I've opened up my leaflet and then I've got one, two, three parts. On this first part, I've drawn a picture of a t-shirt. And then in the middle part here, I have some hats. And at the end, there is the sun cream. So the first instruction I need to write down, I'm going to write number one. So we do top to bottom and down we run. That's the way we write a one. So step number one, the first thing I'm going to do is put on a t-shirt. So I start my instruction with a capital letter. I'm going to write the word first. So I can hear, there is my capital letter. Do you remember the two letters that you need for the digraph? Uh, whirl and twirl. That's right, it's I and the letter R together make the uh digraph. First, and then the final phoneme first, first, and then I'm going to pop in a little piece of punctuation, so a little comma down sitting on the line there. First, put on a top. Put is a red word, remember you can't thread a red, so we're going to have to remember how to write that one. Put, I have got p. First, Put, do you think I've got enough room left here to squeeze in my next word on? I don't think I have, so my top tip is to start on the line below. First put on a top. On. I'm thinking about making sure there's a space because I'm about to write a new word. First put on a top. T. O. P. And you know what you need at the end of your first instruction, a full stop sitting on the line. Step number one, first put on a top. Next we're going to move on to step number two and my pictures show me that it's time to put on a hat. 
So step number one, followed by step number two, around and back on the railroad track. Do, do, do. Step number two, put on a hat. This time put is at the start of my sentence, so it begins with that capital letter. Put. Put on a, I start a new line, hat. At. Put on a hat and I end my second instruction with a full stop. Now I'm going to move on to step number three and I write my number on here. Around the tree, around the tree, that's the way we write a three. Step number three is to slap on some of that sunblock. So I'm going to write the word, put on sunblock. Starting with that capital letter, put on the, holding hands because it's a digraph, put on the sun, Mm. Oh, I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to squeeze that word block. I'm going to quickly just draw myself another little line here. Put on the sun block. What sounds can you hear? What's that initial phoneme? Block. B. O. Uh. Oh. And then I can hear a digraph at the end. K. A shock for the flock. on the sun block. Can you see what Mrs. Crombie needs to do to make that instruction? I need to finish it off with my full stop. Let's see how our little booklet's coming along. So we have our front cover, keep cool in the sun. We have step number one, step number two, step number three. And if I just fold it up, you'll see on this back cover, there is space for one last instruction. Step number four, so we go down and across and down some more. That's the way we write a four. This is a picture of my water bottle and I need to remember to sip liquids. Let's have a go. So we start with our capital letter. S-I-P. Sip. And then I'm going to write the word liquid. Give us a little bit of a challenge today. I can hear a oh, Queen, can you remember the two letters you need and that digraph? Qua, e, d, sip, liquid. Now, when you're writing your instructions, you can choose whatever words you would like to use. But for Mrs. Crombie's one today, I've decided to say sip, liquid. You might like to have a go at writing sip, water. You can decide. My last job then is to get myself ready to go outside and enjoy some of the lovely sunshine we've been having. I'm going to pop into my garden and I'm going to use my little booklet just to remind me and make sure I'm following the instructions. So, to keep myself safe and cool in the sun, first of all I need to slip on my t-shirt. So I've made sure that my shoulders are covered, protect myself from the sunshine. Step number two was to slap on that hat. Well I've got a cap. I'm going to slap on my cap, there we go, and then I've got to slop on some sun cream. Now, now, you might like to choose different words when you write your instructions. If you've got a tube of sun cream, you might need to squirt it on, or you might need to spray it on. So with this one, I'm going to throw a little bit of spray into my hands, make sure I've got some on my cheeks and my nose, will you let me know if I've missed a bit? Now, I put lots of sun cream on this morning as well, and I'm just topping it up. Have I missed any? you have rub that bit in there mrs crombie and then can you remember the final step step number four sip some liquid so i want to make sure i've got my water so i keep my body hydrated when i pop outside the last thing for you then is i'm going to play you the song mr golden sun now i listened to that song while i was coloring in all of my drawings in my booklet i hope you have fun making yours remember you can use whatever words you would like to use in your sentences for your instructions. And when you finish making your little safety booklet all about in the sunshine, share it with your teachers on Tapestry or you can post it up onto Facebook. We'd love to see what you've been up to. See you soon, bye. 
You might like to have a listen to the simple song, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, while you're enjoying your colouring and making your booklet. Keep safe in the sun and I'll see you soon. Bye.